हेलो एवरी वन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद एनी थिंग लेट एस लुक एट सम ऑफ द नंबर सेट्स फर्स्ट वन इज नेचुरल नंबर्स दिस इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ नंबर्स एंड आर डिनोटेड बाय एन दिस आर कॉमन काउंटिंग नंबर्स एग्जाम्पल वन टू थ्री फोर एक्सेट्रा सेकेंड वन इज होल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स आर डिनोटेड बाय द लेटर डब्ल्यू दिस आर नोन एज नेचुरल नंबर्स विथ जीरो सो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड इट कंटिन्यूज third one is integers the integers are the set of all whole numbers and negative set of natural numbers the integer set is denoted by the letter z z is equal to minus 3 minus 2 0 1 2 3 and it continues and the last set is the rational numbers the collection of rational numbers are denoted by q these are the numbers which can be written in the form p by q where p and q are the integers and q is not equal to 0 so today we are going to study more about this concept of rational numbers in our lesson the number systems so first we are going to find the rational numbers between the given numbers find Six rational numbers between three and four. As we have to find six rational numbers, we multiply the numbers by seven divided by seven. So, three is equal to three multiplied by seven by seven is equal to twenty-one by seven, and four is equal to four multiplied by seven by seven. Is equal to twenty-eight by seven. Thus, the rational numbers between three and four are twenty-two by seven, twenty-three by seven, twenty-four by seven, twenty-five by seven, twenty-six by seven, and twenty-seven by seven. Irrational numbers. Irrational numbers are the numbers which cannot be written in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to zero. Example are root two, root five, and many more. So now let us take an example of irrational number and try to locate it on the number line. Locate root two. on the number line we need to plot root 2 on a number line so let's plot on the following number line we need to get a right triangle with unit 1 as base so let oa be the base of a triangle let us mark ab as shown and we say ab is equal to 1 unit and ab is perpendicular to oa both of this are one unit join ob as this so we have oa is equal to one unit ab is equal to one unit and using pythagoras theorem we have ob square is equal to oa square plus ab square which would make 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 2 taking the square root on both sides we get ob is equal to root 2 units so the length in the figure is root 2 units we need the root 2 on the number line so keep the compass point on the marked area and with length ob cut an arc on the number line Let us call the end point of arc as C. This green length OC will be equal to OB since they are the radii of same circle. Hence length OC is equal to root 2. So let us now do a quick construction. Let OA be one unit long. Then we take the protractor mark the 90 
degree mark and join that point to A. Then on a compass, we take the length of one unit and mark this on the line to get AB as one unit. And then we join OB using a ruler. This length OB is root 2. And this, we need it on number line. We keep the compass on point O, take length OB and cut an arc like shown. That gives us OC as root 2 units. So we have located root 2 on the number line. Now let us understand real numbers and their decimal expansions. Case 1. Remainder becomes 0. Let us understand this with an example of decimal expansion of 7 divided by 8. 8 is a bigger number than 7. We add 0 at the dividend and in the quotient. And while dividing we consider it as 70. So 0 point then we take 8 8 are 64. We minus 64 with 70 with answer 6. Then we add 0 again and we say 8 7 are 56. We minus it with 60 giving us 4. Then we again we add 0. 8 5 are 40. 40 minus 40 gives us the remainder 0. So we had the divisor 8 and we have the remainder as 0. Here we observe that remainder becomes 0. Thus the decimal expansion is terminating. Case 2. Remainder never becomes 0. Let us find the decimal expansion of 10 divided by 3. So we have 3 as the divisor and 10 as the dividend. So we take 3 3 is a 9. We minus 9 with 10 giving us 1. Then we put a decimal point in the quotient and we add a 0 to have a 10. So again 3 3 is a 9. Remainder is 1. Again we add a 0. Again 3 3 is a 9. Minus it with 10 giving us 1 again. Again we add a 0. Again 3 3 is a 9 giving us 1. So remainder is 1. And we have the divisor 3. Here we observe that the remainder remains the same throughout. Thus, the decimal expansion is non terminating and. Next example find the decimal expansion of 1 divided by 7. 7 is the divisor, 1 is the dividend. We add 0. Point in the quotient and we add a 0 in the dividend so we take it as 10 so after 0 point in the quotient we take 7 ones are 7 with the remainder 3 we add a 0 and we say 7 fours are 28 we minus it with 30 giving us 2 again we add a 0 and we have 20 so 7 twos are 14 we minus it with 20 remaining as 6 again we add a 0 7 eights are gives us 56 we minus it with 60 giving us 4 we add a 0 and then we say 7 fives are 35 we minus it with 40 giving us 5 again we add a 0 then 7 7s are 49. We minus it with 50 giving us the remainder 1. We have the quotient as 0 0.142857 and the divisor was 7 and the dividend was 1. Here we obtain different remainders in each step. The decimal expansion is non-terminating and non-repeating. Now let us see writing the decimal expansion of P by Q form. We can write the given decimal expansion in fraction or P by Q form. Let us take an example. 
1.272727 and it continues so that we write is equal to 1.27 bar so let x is equal to 1.27 bar is equal to 1.272727 as equation 1 multiplying equation 1 with 100 so we get 100x is equal to 100 multiplied by 1.272727 100x is equal to 127.2727 let us consider it as equation 2 subtract equation 2 from 1 so we have 100x minus x is equal to 127.2727 minus 1.272727 so we get 99x is equal to 126 so x is equal to 126 divided by 99 further x is equal to 14 divided by level thus 1.27 bar is equal to 14 by 11 now let us represent real numbers on the number line. Visualize 4.26 bar on the number line up to 4 decimal places. We observe that 4.26 bar lies between 4 and 5. So on this number line, we are going to enlarge the number line from 4 to 5. And then we get the number line as shown. In this we observe that 4.26 lies between 4.2 and 4.3. We enlarge the number line and we get the number line as shown. Then we further enlarge the number line between 4.26 to 4.27. We get the number line as shown. Then further we enlarge it from 4.261 to 4.262 we get the number line as shown and there we can plot the number 4.2626 so we have visualized 4.26 bar that is 4.2626 on the number line now let us understand operations on real numbers in this, we are going to learn the simplification of real numbers. Example, 2 root 2 plus 5 root 3 plus root 2 minus 3 root 3 is equal to in the brackets 2 root 2 plus root 2 close the bracket plus in the bracket 5 root 3 minus 3 root 3 close the bracket which is, is equal to 2 root 2 in the bracket 2 plus 1 plus root 3 in the bracket 5 minus 3 close the bracket which is, is equal to 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 so this was the simplification of a problem of the first one second one 13 root 3 minus 2 root 3 gives us the simplified answer level root 3 our next subtopic is rationalizing the denominator we take an example of 3 divided by 2 minus root 2 we can simplify the given problem by rationalizing the denominator here we observe that the denominator has a minus sign thus in order to rationalize the denominator, we must now multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2 plus root 2. So now we have the equation 3 divided by 2 minus root 2 multiplied by 2 plus root 2 divided by 2 plus root 2 which is, is equal to 3 in the brackets 2 plus root 2 close the bracket divided by in the bracket 2 minus root 2 multiplied by 
open the bracket 2 plus root 2 close the bracket this is further simplified to 6 plus 3 root 2 divided by 4 plus 2 root 2 minus 2 root 2 minus 4 plus 2 root 2 and minus 2 root 2 cancel out each other then we get 6 plus 3 root 2 divided by 4 minus root 4 which is is equal to 6 plus 3 root 2 divided by 4 minus 2 and then we get the answer as 6 plus 3 root 2 divided by 2 now let us see laws of exponent for real number first one a raised to the power m multiplied by a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m plus n let us understand this with an example 2 raised to the power 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 divided by 5 is equal to 2 raised to in the brackets 2 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 5 close the bracket so we have 2 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 2 plus 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 3 multiplied by 5 close the bracket which is is equal to 2 raised to the power open the bracket 10 plus 3 divided by 15 close the bracket and then we get the final answer as 2 raised to the power 13 divided by 15 second one a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m minus n let us understand this with an example 7 raised to the power 2 divided by 5 divided by 7 raised to the power 1 divided by 3 is equal to 7 raised to the power 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 multiplied by 5 divided by 5 which gives us 7 raised to the power 10 minus 5 divided by 15 which gives us the answer 7 raised to the power 5 divided by 15 third law in the bracket a raised to the power m close the bracket raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m multiplied by n let us understand this with an example we have in the bracket 5 raised to the power 3 close the bracket raised to the power 1 divided by 3 which is is equal to 5 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 1 divided by 3 3 and 3 cancel out each other which gives us the answer 5 next law is in the bracket a multiplied by b close the bracket raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power m multiplied by b raised to the power m let us understand this with an example in the bracket 3 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 3 which is is equal to 3 raised to the power 3 multiplied by 5 raised to the power 3 which is is equal to 27 multiplied by 125 which gives us the answer 3375 next one in the bracket a divided by b close the bracket raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power m divided by b raised to the power m example in the bracket 
वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू क्लोज द ब्रैकेट रेस टू द पावर थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन रेस टू द पावर थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय टू रेस टू द पावर थ्री इज इक्वल टू द आंसर इज वन डिवाइडेड बाय एट सो दिस वॉज अ जस्ट अबाउट आर लेसन नंबर सिस्टम्स नंबर्स ऑफन टेल अस हाउ मेनी और हाउ मच रियल नंबर्स इज अ वैल्यू दैट रिप्रेजेंट्स क्वांटिटी अलॉन्ग अ लाइन इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गेट फेमिलियर विद बेसिक ऑपरेशन लाइक एडिशन सब्सट्रैक्शन डिविजन एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन दिस स्किल्स ले द फाउंडेशन ऑफ लेटर स्टेजेस ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स